Hi, I'm Jason Lapthorne. Uh, I run pre-sales for Harman International in the UK. And today I'm going to be talking about the AMX Hydroport. So the first thing I wanted to show you was the Hydroport um, configurator online. So what we have here, it is straight from the AMX webpage. And we can see here that we can select our chassis size. And when we selected it, we can come through and we can select the amount of modules that we want to add on to this. So we can see we have a section for audio and video. And if any one of these that we want to add, we simply, simply highlight it and click in the chassis. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add a few more, such as a mini display port. I've got other ones in here, such as um, any blanks or labels that we want to add. Control elements, so we can put in buttons uh, to control uh, the devices in the room. We've got network um, modules in here. And we've also got power modules in here. So I'm going to add a couple of power to this and what is also quite nice as well we have the USB charging module so you can just charge simple uh, phones uh, and tablets from this as well so you don't need to take up a lot of room in the um, in the chassis uh, just through power so <coughs> when you order a hydroport it comes as this so this is the chassis it comes as that um, this is the unit itself it comes blank and the modules come separate so what I'm going to show you is how to install this unit. So the first thing is the sides off, uh, which is just uh, connected via six screws. So I'm using an electric screwdriver here. If you do use an electric screwdriver, put it on the lowest torque setting. So I'm going to take these off. So once we've taken out all of the screws, this will just gently slide off and we're left with the uh, bit in the middle, and you can see that is where we begin to slide our modules uh, through. So I've selected on our configurator a couple of power units. So this is what one of them looks like. And I simply just slide that down there. Like that. And you'll notice that the side has a, a slight lip on it. We need to make sure that all of the corresponding modules go in the same direction. So the lip out. It's quite hard, one-handed. Slip that on. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add this USB unit. Again, this lip is going to go on the same side as all of the others. Slide that in place. I've then got a couple of retractable units I'm going to use. So the first one I'll put in is this mini display port. And you can see here, it just has to line up slightly more because there's a couple of more um, pieces for it to slide into. So hopefully you can see that. That just slides into place and just pushes gently down to the next one. I then have another retractable unit, this time a USB. I can come through and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So make sure they're all lined up and I just push that into place. Now there is a slight gap. Can you feel that? Nothing to worry about because when we put this other unit back on, you can see that that will slide into place and they all match up like that and it clips into place so everything is nice and flush. So I'm now going to reconnect all of these. The last one I'm going to put through as well is going to enable this top unit to just slide quite evenly um, open and shut. So I need to make sure I've got it in the right position like that. And then I'm just going to screw this in like that. So I've still got that unit and that's going to close nicely like that, but also it opens either side. So once I've got all my modules connected, my chassis sorted, I'm then going to install this onto the table. So you can see here, here's one that's already been cut. So what I'm going to do is take my chassis and now install this into the hole there. So the first thing you notice is these retractable units are now too big to, to fit down there. So what we need to do is just unclip them. Unclip them from the chassis and then thread them through the hole and any other relevant cables that you have. Also please note that these fastenings that come out here need to be flat with the chassis in order for that to just slide in like that. 
Now once it's slid in, what I'm then going to do is there's four screws in the corner and I'm just going to tighten these up. Now what if, you're, if these fasteners don't quite reach um, the top of the table, we also provide these two little blocks. So essentially what happens is these blocks will be positioned in place there and there to help you secure these fittings to the bottom of the table. So once those four screws are tightened, you now see those fastenings have secured into place there. So that hydro port is not going to go anywhere now it's on the table. Lastly, what we need to do is then um, connect the retractors back up. So if I take this first one, I pull this cable through, and then I'm just going to do the reverse of what I did before. So I'm just going to slot that into place and slot that back in, and then press the button on the top to retract that cable. So now we do the second retractor, pull the cable through, and again, just clips into place and secures like that. Make sure that the cable goes in nice and straight underneath, and that will just retract back in. And that is your hydroport installed.